So let's have a look at a couple of waves. So that's one wave, and then I'll show you another wave. So there's two waves. Clearly they've got the same amplitude. But what's different about them, so if let's say, for example, this occurs in one second. This has got one, one, two, three and a half waves in that one second. And this has got one, one wave, one and a half waves in that one second. So they have a different frequency. This one has a higher frequency and this one has a lower frequency. Something else we can see though is the wavelength. So as you know the wavelength is the different distance between two the same points on consecutive waves. Often it's good to say from the peak or the crest and you can see that this has got a shorter wavelength than this one. So there's actually a relationship between frequency and wavelength. So this wave here has a higher frequency and a lower wavelength. This one here has a lower frequency and a higher wavelength. So what we can say about frequency and wavelength is that they are inversely proportional. If these are both sound waves traveling through the same medium at the same temperature, they have got the same speed. So frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional. So we're able to put them into an equation called the wave equation. And the wave equation is speed equals frequency times wavelength. Or to simplify it, we get rid of the times and just say V equals F lambda. And of course, lambda is wavelength. So that's the wave equation. And we can use it to find out, if we, if we know two of these things, if we know speed and we know frequency, then we can work out wavelength. Or if we know wavelength and speed, then we can work out frequency, for example. So let's do an example. So we have a music note that has a frequency of 262 hertz. And this particular wave, this sound, is traveling uh, through air at a speed of 340 meters per second. So we need to find out wavelength. Wavelength is our unknown. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we can work out how to manipulate the wave equation such that wavelength is by itself. And we can do that using a MAD T. Now, our MAD T, so our equation is frequency times wavelength. Remember, this line here means times, so that means that we've got frequency times wavelength. So, up here we have so we can see that if we cover up wavelength, then wavelength equals speed divided by frequency. So wavelength equals speed divided by frequency. And our speed is 340 meters per second divided by our frequency of 262. And if we put that into our calculator, we work out that the wavelength is 1.29 meters. So we have 1.29 meters. So that means the wavelength for this particular sound, this note, has a wavelength of 1.29 meters. 